It's 1.30 on Friday afternoon. What's today? The 25th of September. 25th of September. It's about 81 degrees, 80 something around there. And I'm getting ready to head into the Upper Buffalo Wilderness area. Into the Bowen Gulf. It's a very gulf-like down in there, and that's where I'm going. This is the official parking area. You would think they could improve it some. Already finding these. The second one I've removed. <laughs> Just as I expect. you can see. Yeah, I'm looking at you. All right, here we go. As usual, luckily that was there. I wouldn't know which way to go. I would have gone that way. I would have been lost. Who knows where I'd end up, man. But thanks to this, I am on the right track. Hell yeah. If you've never been in here before, there is a trail. Spiderwebs included. That will take you into the bowels of the Bowen Gulf. And you can go past uh, Magnolia Falls and some other Falls such as Jim Bob's Falls, Wood Headed Boys Falls, Susie Cusie, the Hussy Falls, um, other sort of falls. Of course, there's not going to be a bit of water in right now. now. This is an area worth worth your while to explore. But as I must warn you. The spider webs. They will take you down. We just feel pretty good out here today. It's like I say, it's about 82 degrees maybe, and a light breeze. It's early fall. Fall just officially started a few days ago, and there is a touch, a hint of color out here. And it's quite lovely, I must say. Trail does follow an old road bed. Comes right down past the bluff line. Showing about 78 degrees right now. As I go down into the valley, it's cooled off a tad. Little campsite right here. This is the creek that, uh, if you follow up, goes to Magnolia Falls and whatever else those other falls are. Wood Bob Falls. 
Jimmy Chuck Falls. A little bit of water in this creek. This side's kind of crappy if you ask me. Oh, you didn't ask me? I'm telling you. This side sucks, man. This is what we got here is uh, what you call your uh, your big boulders or what uh, some like to refer to as big ass boulders some like to call them house size boulder bus size chimney size boulders there's all kinds of different uh, nicknames for boulders in general I just like to call them boulders or even better yet rocks people what do we got set up here a movie theater or something oh, we reached uh, creek status Bowen Gulf is uh, composed of uh, a big gulf which is uh, many different streams coming together into this main branch which I guess you'd call the Bowen Gulf branch but you got a branch coming here, goes up to Magnolia Falls. You got this branch here, which goes up to Paradise Falls, which really does not live up to its description. You keep following this, the main prong, it'll take you to the buffalo, about a mile or so, maybe more, maybe two. But this is about the driest time of year and there's still water in this little pool here which is every time I've been here I've seen water in it so it's handy to have A lot of stuff I'm afraid of out here in the woods, but uh, one thing I don't like is uh, those little yellow jackets. I don't sure what they are, some kind of small yellow jacket wasp that lives in the ground. And I just walked right past one. And Crossed over the creek. There's the main creek, Bowen Gulf Branch, named after Jim Bob Bowen, who settled these parts back in 18 and 39. Get your eyes off of my property. So I've reached the bluff line. I just gotta find a way up there. Sticks are out. 
I've already seen a few of them. I don't know why they tend to skip some here. Sorry about that, fella. This one is, uh, looks like he's already missing some legs. So sad. Nice little cave up there. to get up. That's where I need to be. found the way up. How could it be? Yes, I think so. Bloodline status achieved. You may be saying, hey, this bluff line looks just like any other bluff line. Well, you're right. It does and it doesn't. Oh, yeah. So, you get your bone gold branch right there. And then, out in the broad valley, you get your, your Buffalo River. Your upper Buffalo River. All the way across the valley over there, going up the other side. That's Hubbard Hollow. And if you go on over downstream on the river a little bit, you got Whitaker Creek going up that way, and your Hawksbill Crag right up over there. It's pretty good ways off, but I bet you there's about 35 to 70 people. Sitting on it right now. And this bluff is all mine. All mine, I tell you. <laughs> I'm getting closer. I'm getting closer to my Oh, that's in it. It's close. But it ain't yet. Oh! Ooh! Oh! Oh, that braze, man. That brace feels mighty good. Uh, mighty, mighty damn good. Oh yeah, it really does. That was a mighty, mighty, mighty damn good feeling breeze. That's right. Uh, that's truly right. Uh, 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 oh, 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 yeah. I like it over much. I'm not going 
goodness. Eat off my shrubbery. That's pretty nice promontory right there, man. That's pretty nice. Oh. Oh. Uh-huh. The bow and golf. They golf. It's 6.50, got my camp set up. Kinda, pretty dang good view here.
almost full moon. the upper 50s hopefully hopefully seven fifteen and it's uh it's supper time the sun is gone Oh yeah. Good morning. It's about 6.40 in the morning. Well, the sun's supposed to come up probably around 7, I'd say. But I'm not sure. It's been quite a quiet night here, and I'm making fairly well. was attacked by no animals. No wind. It's 55 degrees right now. Pretty clear out. <coughs> A few clouds. It's just quiet as can be. No birds, nothing. Seven thirty. Yeah, it's about fifty five degrees and the sun is coming on up.
I have reached the Bowen Gulf Branch. It is pretty dry. Ten o'clock, about sixty-five degrees. I'll do it for forty. <laughs>